All right, everyone, welcome to your Thursday 430 Sculpt. My name is Vero. As always, I will be guiding you through. Remember to listen to your body, take breaks when you need, towel off, grab water, your time, your practice. Let's have fun with it. With that, let's get started in extended child pose. Bring your big toes to touch, knees go wide, walk the fingertips long in front of you, bring that forehead down to the mat, and just start to settle in here. Carving out the time for yourself. Start to bring awareness of your breath. Take a full body scan, what feels good, what you're looking forward to moving today, challenging yourself with. Go ahead and exhale all the air in your lungs and take a deep inhale through the nose, fill up. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Good, take another deep inhale, filling up. Open mouth, exhale, release. And if it's in your practice, we'll take the time now to set an intention for your time on the mat, for the rest of your evening, for your long weekend, whatever you wish for it to be. Go ahead and flip your palms up towards the sky and bring to mind something that you want to focus on. Something positive, something encouraging, something energizing that you can return to. It's going to fuel you and bring a smile to your face. Bring that to mind now, and it could be for you or for someone else. And take a deep inhale and see that intention, and exhale, send it out. Beautiful. Go ahead and flip your palms back towards the mat. Push yourself up to a tabletop position. Shoulders are stacked over wrists, and knees are hip width distance apart. Inhaling the right arm high. And exhale, threading the needle, right ear to the mat, sending those hips back towards your heels. Finding a nice stretch here. And then inhale, reaching that arm high. And exhale, tabletop. Inhale, left arm high. And exhale, threading the needle. Left ear to the mat, sending those hips back towards the heels. Inhale, reaching that right arm high. I'm sorry, left arm. And exhale, bringing it down. Go ahead and flip your wrist out towards the top of the mat. And take a few circles with the hips here. Start going right to left first. Taking three. And then the opposite direction. Opening the hips, opening the forearms. Last one here. Finding stillness. Taking an inhale and exhale, tabletop. Good. Moving on to your cat and cow. We inhale, lift the chest up and exhale, arching the back into cat. Good. Another inhale, lifting the chest and the gaze. And exhale, making space in between those shoulder blades for cat. Taking two more here on your own breath. Really opening the chest and then really arching the back into that cat. And when you're through with your two, come to a neutral spine, tabletop position. Taking a deep inhale here and exhale, curling the toes under, sending the hips high, downward facing dog. First down dog of class, go ahead and pedal out your feet. Shake your head yes and no. Gaze underneath each arm. And then find stillness. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, walk your feet behind your wrist. Find ragdoll pose. Opposite hand grabs opposite elbow here. And you can sway back and forth, feeling that in your hamstrings, your neck, your low back. And then go ahead and switch up your grip. And dropping your hands to the mat, toe heel your feet together. And slowly stack your vertebrae 
all the way to stand. Good. Inhale, mountain pose. And exhale, side body stretch to the right. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side body stretch left. Inhale, mountain pose. And exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, mountain. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And exhale, plant those hands, step the feet back, and find down dog. Good. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, step the feet together, and slowly rise to stand. Inhale, mountain pose. This time, exhale into open arm twist. Arms go wide. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, mountain pose. And exhale, forward fold. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And exhale, plant those hands and find your down dog. Now a little variation on your sun eight. Inhale, the right toes high. And exhale, bring it down for a low lunge, dropping your back knee. Inhale into crescent moon. And exhale into half splits. Let this feel good here. Stretching out that right hamstring. Good, and inhale, reaching high. And exhale, planting the hands and shooting that leg back for down dog. Inhale, left toes high. And exhale, bring it through for a low lunge, dropping the right knee. Inhale, crescent moon. And exhale into half splits. Just let it feel good, warming up the body, getting it ready to move to sculpts. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, plant the hands. And find down dog. Good. Moving on to your sun B sequence. Inhale, right toes high. Exhale, bring it through. Low lunge. Inhale, rising up for crescent lunge. And exhale, open up into warrior two. Inhale, star pose. And exhale, sinking low into horse. Jot those knees out, sitting tall. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, bring the arms down. Steps a foot back. And move through high to low plank, chaturanga, bending at the elbows. And inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, left toes high. Exhale, bring it through, low lunge. Inhale into crescent. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. And exhale, sinking low into that horse. Tuck that tailbone, lift the chest. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, Bringing the arms down, shooting that leg back, and moving to your high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing dog. Good, pedal out the feet here. We're going to start first with a quick little core series. Inhale, look forward, and exhale, Shift up towards a high plank pose. Shoulders are stacked over your wrist. Micro bend in those elbows. Hold it here. Yes, you can. Give me eight, seven, six, five. Come to your knees in four, three. Yes, you can. In two, and one. Coming to your knees. Right arm extends and left arm. We reach and curl. Reach 
and curl just for eight, seven, six, five, back to your high plank in four, three, high plank in two, and one, shoot it up, hold it here for eight, seven, six, five, other side in four, three, come on, last two, and one, set it down, left arm, right leg, for eight, seven, six, five, good, last four, three, down dog, in two, and one, inhale, and exhale into down dog, awesome job you guys, Sunbeam now with weights. They are optional, of course. Inhale the right toes high. Exhale, bring it through. Low lunge. Grabbing those weights. We inhale into crescent. And then exhale, open up to warrior two. We're going to fly the arms. Lateral lift to the side. We lift. Lift. Deep bend in that right leg. Shoulder blades roll down the back. Weights are coming shoulder height and back down. You have eight, seven, six, five. Bend that right knee. Last four, three, last two, and one. Awesome job. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, sinking low into that horse. Basic bicep curls. We pull. Pull. Elbows are glued to your side. Deep bend in both those knees. Good. Last eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Yes, you can. Come on. Last two. And one. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse that warrior, punch that weight up. Exhale, pull, pivot, plant your weights, move through high to low plank, chaturanga. Meeting in downward facing dog, left side is next. Inhale, left toes. Exhale, bring it through, low lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, open up, warrior two. This time, lateral raise to the front. We lift. Lift. Just right under eye level, shoulder height. Deep bend in that left leg. You have eight, seven, six, five. Keep going. Last four, three. Two, and one. Awesome job. Inhale, star. Exhale, down into that horse pose. Roll those shoulder blades back. Lunge trays are next. Push the weight out. Bring it back in. Push. Push. Right here. Yes, you can. Just for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Last four, three, two, and one. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, pull, pivot, plant your weights. Move through high to low plank, chaturanga, and then push it back into your down dog. Good, inhale, look forward. Exhale, come to the top of your mat, grabbing your weights, slowly rising to stand. Gonna start first with a deadlift plus a squat, okay? So it looks like this, back is straight, count is about down for two, up for two, squat, down. Good, down for two, up for two, and squat, keep that going, down, 
up. Weight is in your heels as you squat down. Push that booty out. Lift your chest. Good. Eight. Long seconds. Last seven. Looks good. Six. Arms are straight. Bring them up. Five. Squeeze that booty after you come up from the, from the squat. Four. Last three. Woo! Last two. Awesome job, you guys. Last one. Make it a good one. Squat down and up. Take a deep inhale and open mouth exhale. Coming into, looks like your horse, it's going to be a sumo squat with a shoulder press. So we come down, bring the weights up, and press. We're down, and press. You're pointing those knees out. Chest is still very lifted here. Good. Push. Shoulder blades roll down, strong and straight wrists. Here we go. You have eight. Seven. Six, squeeze the core. Last five, four, three, two, coming to stand in one. Press it up. Feet are together. Take another inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Good. Feet are together. Another compound movement. We're doing the fly with the right leg. We fly, right leg out, push, and lift, push, and lift. Really squeezing that right glute, good. You have eight, seven, six, five, Keep going, last four. Make sure to exhale, three. Come on, last two. Last one, lift and down. Left leg is next, this time with a hammer curl. Halfway up, it's a curl like this and the leg goes out. We're up, down, lift to the side, up. Down, lift to the side. You got it. Woo! Squeezing that left glute. Come on. Yes, you can. Give me eight. Seven. Looks good. Six. Five. Last four. Three. Come on, last two, last one. Hold the weights right here and push them out. Just pushing them, a little movement, squeezing that core, burning out these arms. Yes, you can, come on. Give me eight, seven, six, five. Come on, last four, three, two, and one, take an inhale and exhale, forward fold. Dropping the weights on either side, inhale, halfway lift, flat back, and exhale, plant the hands, shoot the feet back, and come down to your tabletop position. Some legs, shoulders, and arms are next. Start first with the right leg, it's straight and back. Your toe is pointed and you lift. Go to the side so you guys can see it a little bit better. We lift. Squeezing that right glute. 
Neck is long, gazing at the top of your mat. Keep breathing. Try and square your hips so you're not leaning to one side or the other and squeeze that core in. You have eight, seven, six, five. Last four, three, two, and one. Bringing that leg down and coming up into a bear crawl. And you do knee taps. It's down and up, down and up. Good. Keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five. Left leg is next. In four, three, last two, and one. Left leg is next, you guys. Straighten the leg, point the toe. Let's go. We lift. Lift. Again, all the same cues. Squeeze that core in. Squeeze that left glute. Neck is long. Good. Keep going. You have eight, seven, six, five, last four, three. Back to bear taps in two and one. Here you go. It's down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch for eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, and one. Set it back into child's pose, take an inhale and open mouth, exhale, let it go. Coming back up into your tabletop. Starting with the right arm, we are going to do narrow rows. Add a challenge, extend that left leg back, and you pull the right arm up. We lift. Feel free to bring that leg down as you lift the right arm back. Come on. Yes, you can. Keep it going. You have eight, seven, Six, squeeze the glute. Five, last four, three, other side. In two, and one. Bringing that leg down, left arm pulls, and right leg goes back, squaring the hips, setting it up. We lift, pull, lift. Exhale at the top. Yes, you can. Give me eight, seven, six, five, keep going, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job coming back down to tabletop, child's pose, take an inhale, and open mouth, exhale. Good, coming all the way onto your glutes, and then onto your back. A little bit more glute work, a little bit more arm work. Bring those weights right back by you. Start with some glute bridges. Feet are hip width distance apart. Walk those feet out actually a little further from your glutes. And you press up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. Get that booty as high as you can go and squeeze it at the top. Lift, lift, yes you can. Keep that going, lift. Same thing, exhaling at the top. Here you go, eight, seven, six, five, holding at the top in four, three, two, and one, hold it here and squeeze for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, a little higher, four, three, two, and one. Coming down, grabbing those weights. Chest press is next. Weights are strong and straight in those wrists. 
Try not to have them going forward or back. Strong, straight wrists. Shoulder blades are rolled down the back. You press up and down. Weights are coming right in front of your chest there. Gazing up at the ceiling. Your option, you know, one arm at a time, of course. Keep it going, push yourselves here. Yes, you can. You're exhaling at the top. Good. You have 10, nine, eight, seven, last six, five, dropping the weights in four, three, last two, and one, bringing those weights down. Now back to your glutes, we're adding on. We press up, push the knees out, together and down, up. Out, together, and down. Good. Ten. Nine. Yes, you can. Eight. Seven. Last six. Five. Last four. Hold it at the top in three. Last two, and one, press out, hold at the top, squeeze. Come on, for eight, seven, six, lift a little higher, five, four, three. Last two, and one, coming down, grabbing those weights. We press up. And back down. Shoulder press from here. This time weights, your, uh, sorry, your wrists are facing each other. Bending the elbows. They're staying right by your side. And push up. Good. Keep that going. Exhale at the top. Eight. Seven, six, five, last four, three, last set of glutes in two, and one, bring that down. This time, extending one leg up and squeezing the left glute, right leg is up, hold for eight, seven, six, Five, switching legs in four, three, yes you can, two, and one, switching legs right away, eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, and one, coming down, last and second set of your chest press, same thing, strong wrist. Bring it up and down. Keep going. Exhale at the top. Turning to that intention. Pushing yourselves here. Keep going. Yes, you can. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, last four, three, two, and one. Dropping the weights, taking a deep inhale, and open mouth exhale. Core series is next. Going to start with a basic crunch. Plant those feet into the mat, untuck the chin, bringing the shoulder blades off the mat, you crunch. Feel free to reach out in front of you or bring those hands behind your head, but try not to pull on your neck. Just pat it there for a little bit of support. Keep going here. Good. Exhale at the top. 
Untuck that chin. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, holding at the top in 4, 3, last 2, and 1. Hold it here. We pulse out. Quick set. Come on. Yes, you can. Give me eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, last two, and one. Coming down, taking a deep inhale, and open mouth exhale. Let your knees fall to the right. And we're going to crunch left. We lift. Left. Good. Keep that going. Exhale at the top. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Last six. Five. Last four. Three, two, and one. Coming down, taking an inhale, and exhale as your knees fall to the left, and we crunch right, getting right into it. We reach. Reach. Good, you guys. Keep that going. Yes, you can. For 10, 9, 8. Seven, last six, five, last four, three, two, and one. Coming down, taking that inhale and exhale. Legs are up the wall. Last core set, reaching for those toes. We lift, lift, keep going. Good, you guys, keep going. Exhale. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming down, long body stretch. Take an inhale. And open mouth, exhale, let it go. Go ahead and rock and roll your way all the way through, finding downward facing dog. We'll meet there. Pedaling out your feet. Again, shaking your head yes and no. And then finding stillness. Inhale the right leg high. And exhale right knee behind right wrist. Left leg goes long. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, fold. Letting your head hang heavy here. Letting it feel good in the hamstring. And then inhale, lifting your chest. And exhale into the dog. Inhale, left toes high. Exhale, left knee behind left wrist. Inhale, lift your chest. I apologize for Milton in the background licking his spoon. And exhale, fold. And then inhale, lifting your chest, and exhale into down dog. Inhale, look forward, and exhale, come to sit on your mat. Legs are long in front of you. Inhale, seated mountain pose, 
and exhale, seated forward fold, reaching for the toes, for the ankles, for the calves, whatever feels good in your body. Just let it feel good in the low back and in the neck. And with each exhale, try and sink a little deeper. And then inhale, lifting your arms high. Then exhale, slowly roll onto your back. And when you reach your mat, go ahead and fall into final Shavasana. Legs and arms go long, taking up space here. Nothing more for you to do. Just be present, be here for yourself. Relaxing from the top of your head all the way down to your toes. If you are ready to start to bring movement back to your body, start small by wiggling the fingers and the toes. Flex the feet and point the toes. Pull up on the kneecaps and release. Move your neck gently from left to right. And then taking a long body stretch, reaching overhead and bringing something to mind of gratitude, something that you are proud of from class, something that you're looking forward to for your long weekend, something just good, something positive. And bring that with you as you fall onto fetal position. The new awareness, the new appreciation, and then finally pushing yourself up to sit on your mat, legs are long or crossed, sitting tall, bringing your hands together, third eye center, the space between your forehead. Amazing work this evening. Great job pushing yourselves, challenging yourselves, and being present and carving out time for yourselves, which is so important and sometimes the hardest part of the whole thing. So with that, I hope you have a beautiful evening and take a deep inhale and exhale, bow forward and seal your practice. Namaste.